welcome to another episode of Mary's Creative Space. I like to begin saying Happy New Year to all of you. I really hope that you have a beautiful new year with many, many blessings and lots and lots of beautiful things to do for you that are with me right from the beginning. I like to say thank you. I really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. To those of you that are new, hi, my name is Mari. I really hope that you enjoy them and decide to stay for good. Today I'm bringing you a Valentine's Day craft ideas video and I have so much fun creating it so I really hope that you have fun watching them. So let's begin with this new video. Okay you guys as always this is going to be real simple real easy i'm gonna be using this heart this beautiful pink heart from dollar tree and i'm going to be tracing it in this paper that i printed i found it in my computer and i printed and i'm tracing the heart and after i trace the heart i'm going to be using my glue stick and i'm going to be gluing it to the heart and this paper i have this paper for a long time you guys it's like a some French um country little girl like I don't know if you really can see it over there but that's the beautiful thing. Um I glue it to the pink heart and then I'm going to doing another a smaller heart but I'm going to be using um a different paper. I think I found it or I bought it in Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to use the same process that I'm showing you with this one. That's why you are not going to see me doing the second one. Okay. So that's all is happening over here. I love, I prefer to use the glue stick instead of the Mod Podge to do stuff like this because the bubbles, I don't have that luck with the mud brush when I'm doing um, this kind of thing especially in you know in wooden surface so I use my skin the side until I begin and finish with the second little heart After they get dry, I'm going to be using my finger sander to get rid of the um, excess paper around um, of the two um, hearts that you see me doing right over here. Real simple, real easy. And now after I'm done doing the big heart, I'm going to be using some lace that I bought also in Dollar Tree, a beautiful white lace. I can't believe that I found this in Dollar Tree. Um, it's not that long. I think it's just one and a half um, yards. I'm not sure, but it's, it's pretty short. But uh, it, one of them, it was, I bought two. One of them is enough to um, grab all the edge around the heart. And it came out lovely, people. Wash until you see it. And I use hot glue. Real little, just to avoid messes. And it came out absolutely lovely. Well finished, no mess of glue or anything. In the beginning, I thought that I was going to glue the little heart in top of the, I mean, the big one, but then I changed my mind and um, I leave them, you know, on their own. In the little one, you're going to see me that I'm going to be gluing two Jenga blocks in the back. And like that, I help the heart to stand up in my coffee table that's what I have it right at this moment 
and then the other one I'm just gonna be placing it like sideways because it can stand you know in their own and just like that you have the cutest two hearts one bigger than the other one I love them love 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 them what you think about them you guys let me know down in the comment section okay let's jump into the next idea and in this case i'm going to be using this vinyl from dollar three i love this vinyl because the color is pink but it's a real soft pink and i'm going to cut three no two strips one and a half each two long strips because um when I come when I cut the first one I'm going to use it like a template to cut the next one so it's more easier for me because I'm going to be covering the bottom of this um it's like a bo shadow box you know the shadow boxes the um Dollar Tree usually have so I remove the front of the box and I'm going to use just the bottom and I'm going to be placing um, the two strips that I cut from the vinyl all around of the edge, just like so. Real quick and real simple. And now I'm going to use some of this moss. If I'm not mistaken, this is a Spanish moss. Yeah, just a little bit. And I'm not going to use glue, you can use glue if you like to if you're going to recreate this so after i put the um all the moss in top of the box i'm going to use this pack of six um roses pink roses also from dollar tree beautiful and i'm going to be gluing each of them in top of the moss just to make sure that they don't move and you know they don't go anywhere. I really love these roses. I think they have um, different colors in red and white, if I'm not mistaken. I make um, this bow using this ribbon. This ribbon was from Walmart. And after I glue the ribbon in front of the box, I take a small sticker heart, like a heart sticker, also from Dollar Tree, and I place it in the front of, in the middle of the pink um, bow. Now I'm going to take these um, heart sticks and I'm going to be cutting them with my cutting um, Thingies, and I'm going to place four of them. One in the front, one in the back. And each side I'm going to be gluing one too. Just a little bit of glue to make sure they don't move. And you guys, just like that you have this beautiful like let me know what you think about it it looks so cute i mean look at this you can have that in your bedroom in your bathroom in your little girl's bedroom i mean in your living room and um, coffee table look at this it came out absolutely lovely look at this let me know down below please what you think about it Okay, the next one is, I'm going to be using this little pink flowers also from Dollar Tree. I tried to show you the name of the flowers right over there, but I'm not sure if you guys saw it. If I remember, I put the name down below. And I'm going to be using some foam, 
and I'm going to use the um, little base, the pink base over there with the letter M in the front. That was a candle, people. And after I use the candle, I remove everything and I wash it real nice. And now I'm going to reuse it. I put the um, phone inside and now I cut the flower stand to, you know, to the land that I'm going to be knitting it. And I'm going to place it inside of the foam. After I did that, I'm going to get some rocks that I am not sure where I get them because I had them since last summer. I never used them. I think they are from either Dollar Tree or Walmart. And I'm going to make sure that I cover all the foam. I don't want that green to show. And I'm going to be applying some glue. Be sure that they don't move. Just like that. I I see this in a lot of different places. This is more um Valentine's Day Valentine's Day um tree with little hearts or little um of everything, you know, people do it with different details and I wa I always want to make one so I decided to make my like this. After I finish I'm gluing the rocks around. I use some of the same hearts that I used in the prior um project and I cut three in different lengths one high, one medium and the last one is the small one and I place them just like so. After that, I'm going to have, I'm going to take these little um, lips or kisses. They are also from Dollar Tree um, stickers. And I'm going to be placing them in different parts of the little tree. The little so-called tree. <laughs> also, I'm going to be placing some um, heart stickers like here and there and you know different places this one could say kiss me they are also from Dollar Tree. i think they are so cute and this project is done just like that off camera i grab a silver ribbon and i you know like i tie it in the pink base in the top of the thing in the pink the top of the pink base and i think it was was it was knitting and just like that you have the most cute and beautiful three arrangement that's how i'm going to call it the most beautiful three arrangement i love it i really do and i really hope that you guys like it to let me know down below which one is your favorite i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and as always don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it and leave me a comment down below and um, any kind of comment i really appreciate all those comments and as always God bless, and I'm going to be seeing you next week. Blessings, you guys. Bye-bye.